A court in Washington has jailed the former leader of the far-right Proud Boys group for 22 years for his part in the storming of the U.S. Congress. The sentence given to Enrique Tarrio is the longest of any of the hundreds convicted of involvement in the Capitol riot of January 20, 2021, when supporters of then-U.S. President Donald Trump stormed the congressional building as lawmakers met to certify Joe Biden's election victory. Mr. Tarrio was not in Washington during the riot, but helped organize the far-right group's involvement. His lawyers said he plans to appeal. Our North America correspondent Peter Bowes has more on the significance of the sentence. This is the longest sentence of all of the Proud Boys uh, sent to prison over the last few four days. Uh, there were four people at the end of last week and now we have this sentence for what uh, the judge described as the ultimate leader of the conspiracy, the leader of the Proud Boys, the person who is really at the centre of the conspiracy, the organisational centre of that uh, assault of the US Capitol. He and others from the Proud Boys uh, really shortly after the 2020 election, during that period before January the 6th, when there was a lot of uncertainty over what was going to happen, but he and others were uh, sending out social media messages, uh, messages online threatening that there would be violence if Donald Trump left office. And then on the day, as you say, he wasn't actually in Washington. That's because he'd been stopped by the police two days earlier in possession of high capacity ammunition, which is uh, against the law in Washington, D.C. He was given bail, but he was ordered out of the city. So he was actually in Baltimore on January the 6th. He was watching events unfold at a distance, no doubt watching it on television, but again, posting messages in social media, encouraging those rioters as they entered the Capitol at one stage, leaving a message that said, enjoying the show. Peter Bowes there. Harry Littman is a former Deputy Assistant Attorney General for the Department of Justice and host of the Talking Feds podcast. He gave us his reaction to the sentencing. I think the judge uh, thought of Tario as the field general, notwithstanding that he wasn't in the field. But what really convicted him, and the jurors talked about this, was all the social media uh, both right after the election, but the very sort of specific, almost logistical command that he was overseeing from Baltimore. This will be the most serious sentence, I think, that we're going to see. They've now kind of tried all the leaders uh, of the various marauders, especially Proud Boys uh, and Oath Keepers, Proud Boys, I think, with today's um, verdict and the other four your correspondent referred to, have been basically decimated. Uh, and this is, you know, the United States went for even longer. The judge did say, I, I think this guy is a terrorist. I'm, I'm enhancing the sentence based on that. He didn't go to 30 years because he thought that would overstate guilt. But he obviously saw him as very um, guilty and actually repentant only in sort of half measure. Tario said things about how it was a shame and it shouldn't have happened that day, but he didn't, he wasn't contrite to the same degree and to the same personal um, terms that others have been. 